of renters in Newport suddenly need new homes. That's right. Their new landlord wants to renovate and needs everyone out before February. But it's what developers plan next that is actually scaring those who live there and the others in the city. That's right. And reporter Larry Seward is live for us in Newport right now. Larry, the mayor is among those who is worried. Why? Tanya, he personally knows people who live here and those on the other side of this fence have 70 days to find a new place. But we met people who they're spending less than $700 a month concerned that they have no place else to turn. The heaviest lift in Newport's booming multi-million dollar construction around Ovation Theater may be standard letters stuffed in Victoria Square apartment doors. I feel horrified. For people with few means to move. You know we can't afford that, sweetie. And seemingly no affordable options shoulder emotional weight, moving some to tears. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Not knowing what tomorrow's gonna bring. You know, I was secure here. I had a roof over my head. Now, I don't know. Less than two weeks ago, Cincinnati-based Cadence of Newport bought the complex for more than $26 million. On the phone, one of the LLC partners, Josh Slonem, told us they plan to renovate with central air, new windows, and eventually rent every unit at market rate. But their management group's first letter to tenants last week mentioned none of that. Six days later, this notice warned of major construction and listed seven affordable places where renters can move in. Those places that they put down there, they already have a long waiting list. They're already filled up, number one. So, and, and trust me, somebody knew that before they put these places on here. Those on fixed income or Section 8 vouchers paying less than $700 a month in rent have just two months to find a place. That's what hurt me most. The disrespect. Seems like nobody has a heart. Don't do this to the little man. Please, don't, don't do that to us, you know? Come on now, that's not right. Many turn to the Brighton Center, whose 300 affordable housing units are full. Still, they're trying to help. Northern Kentucky's NAACP president wants a community meeting. We are concerned about uh, where the residents going to go, how they're going to transition, what resources are going to be provided. While developers say they will absolutely honor all current lease terms, they may have no obligation to do much more. In Newport, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.